Hello everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be talking about the top five code editors that you can use in Windows 10. Code editors have came a long way in Windows 10 in the past few years and now there are some awesome ones on the market and out there and they're all completely free. By the way, every single code editor that I mention here is completely free. But first, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Private Internet Access. If you're looking for an awesome VPN at an affordable price, Private Internet Access is by far the one for you. They have tons of different servers in hundreds of countries around the world allowing you to protect yourself and your identity online. They also allow you to bypass content blocking and things like that. So very, very awesome and very, very easy to use with a quick and simple download of an app either on your Windows 10 computer or on your iPhone. Again, you can check out PIA at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash private internet access. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. The first and foremost code editor that I would recommend and that I actually use is called Atom. The reason that I personally like Atom the best is because of collaboration. It has very, very easy collaboration using github basically you just kind of log into your github account get a code paste that into adam and boom you're done you can then share a link with whoever you want to collaborate on your code right there with you and, and we're doing stuff so for our minecraft server i'm always wanting to collaborate with the co-owner of the server patrick and the problem with that is Previously, it was kind of hard to do. Either one of us had to work on a project or the other one did. But now we can all work in the same code document right there in line in real time. And that is a huge win for us with Adam. On top of that, it is very customizable. I mean, overly customizable, if I'm honest allowing you to change every single thing about it, not just themes, but even go in and edit specific stylings. So tons and tons of features, tons and tons of stuff. And on top of that, it allows you to easily look at two pieces of code at the same time, specifically two files at the same time. So for example, if you want one file over here and one file over here, so you can work on two at the same time or copy one from another one or reference another file in another file, you can do that very, very easily without having to worry about it. It's another advantage of Atom that you won't see in many of these other code editors to pull this off and most of them you just have to open up two windows but Adam does it all in one window without any issues. On top of that Adam allows you to select an entire project and you can actually find, replace, view all of the code in your project multiple files across an entire folder very very easily all with Adam. That is another thing that Adam really has over a lot of the other code editors on this list. Very easily findable and searchable files, even multiple files at the same time. So with collaboration, easily searchable files, and the ability for the split window on top of the customization, Atom is by far the number one on the list and the reason I actually use them myself. So however, for whatever reason, Atom isn't the one for you. We have number two on this list, Sublime Text. Sublime Text is really cool because it can actually detect the syntax that you're using and then fix errors or identify errors, not fix them, but find errors for you to then fix them in your code without you having to run anything, without you having to do any tests. It finds the errors for you and just says, hey, fix this. This is not working right. This is an error. It looks for it, it finds it, and that can be very, very helpful no matter what you're coding in. So that is something that Sublime Text that none of these other editors do very, very well. Sublime Text is great at it. On top of that, it does allow you to select and edit multiple lines at once, which surprisingly is kind of rare. And on top of that, it allows you to very quickly and easily switch between files with their instant file switching option, even though I do think Atoms is a little easier to use, but that's just me and personal preference. So overall, Sublime Text is a great second place and they also have a very customizable design with changeable themes and all sorts of stuff like that. So really, Adam and Sublime Text are right in line with each other, except for Adam's ability to do collaboration. Now, next up on this list is one I actually don't have much experience with, but as I was asking around and doing research, this came up over and over and over again, and that is Ultra Edit. Ultra Edit is a very, very, very configurable code editor for Windows 10, allowing you to easily configure and change tons of different stuff about the editor. On top of that, it has direct OS integration with Windows 10, allowing you to easily open up applications and utilities and things like that via command line, which none of the other editors we mentioned so far allow you to do that really at all, at least easily. It also has a built-in hex edit mode and column editing mode to allow you to edit your files easier and keep all of your data together. So overall, that is a very, very good thing and something that Ultra Edit has that none of the rest on this list do really well. If you can't tell, some of these have things that are great about them. And whatever you're looking for, if you're looking to open up stuff through command line, Ultra Edit's for you. If you're looking for collaboration, Atom's for you. If you're looking for an easy to use interface with multiple line editing, Sublime's for you. Whatever you think you'll use the most is kind of what you need to go with. But for some people, 
simple is better. And the simplest code editor currently available in Windows 10, that is well known. I mean, there are some very simple ones that nobody uses, but the most popular well-known code editor is Notepad++. And the biggest thing about Notepad++ is it's lightweight. It's easy to use and it's simple. It doesn't have a lot of feature bloat. It edits code and that's what it does. It has a tab editing system, meaning just like a web browser, you can have tabs of different files open and you can even bookmark those files to make them more easily accessible. Say you edit something over and over again or in a project right now and you're constantly going back to certain files like your index file, you can keep going back to that over and over again without any issues via the bookmark. Last but not least, it does have syntax detection, but its uh, error detection isn't as good as Sublime Text in my opinion. However, Notepad++ does have it, and considering it's such lightweight, it is a good option. And there are our top four, but there's one more on the list, and that is Visual Studio Code. This is another open source code editor just like Notepad++, except it has built-in commands for Git, which is very, very helpful. And it's super customizable. Notepad++ lacks on customization, but Visual Studio Code makes up for it. Allowing you to install languages, debuggers, themes, things like that, all via extensions. And there are tons of extensions out there because this is an open source project. And it even has a cool feature called IntelliSense, which allows you to get autocomplete and syntax highlighting and small article completion based on variable types function definitions, and even more. So overall, Visual Studio Code is a very, very good one. And overall, there's our top five. Coming in at number one is Atom, number two, Sublime Text, number three, Ultra Edit, number four, Notepad++, and number five, Visual Studio Code. Did I miss a code editor? I probably did. Put it in the comment section down below. So if uh, people don't like any of the ones on this list, they have that to go to. I, again, personally use Atom because it works best for me, but you should probably be able to find something on this list that will work best for you depending on what you're coding and depending on what language you're working in. Nevertheless, if this video did help you find a code editor, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.